Sí. Good evening all. Welcome to Capello Art School. In today's class, you'll be learning a misty forest. So what is it misty forest means? Can anyone answer? Misty forest. Simple. There are a few other names you can say. Mist. Other name for mist. Fog. Okay, it's foggy forest or a rain, rainy forest which has a fog after it rains, you can see the fog, mist. It's all the same, okay? So we'll try to get that effect in today's painting. For that, you need to have acrylic color, 200 GSM plus paper and water uh, brushes and water container. Palette. That's all. Okay. Shall we start the class? First thing is first, we'll mask the sheet. So get your masking tape quickly and place it on the four sides. So if you have any doubts, let me know in the chat box so that I can answer. So it's always good to have a good quality sheet. Hope you all have, as of now, you know how it works on each quality of paper, how color works. Some paper might absorb the color quickly and make your sheet wavy. And few, which are mean to be for acrylic, well and good if you have those sheets. But always have 200 GSM above. It would work well with watercolor as well as acrylic color. Even with oil pastels. If you have the texture effect in your sheet by you're using oil pastel, it would come out really well. Are you all ready? Shall we start painting? We don't have to draw. You don't have to use eraser, sharpener, pencil, nothing. Just a paint, paintbrush and your water. It's direct freehand painting. There's no sketching here. Shall we start? Shall we start painting? Okay, 
you can take a flat size brush or a round brush flat size 8 i have taken you can take pen or more but about 8 okay so fog foggy misty uh, you'll all have a picture of foggy forest yes do you all know how it looks like a foggy forest the background you will not be able to see the trees or the scene which is away from you but only the front part will be highlighted which is close to your eyes hope you're getting just picture the image of a foggy forest and that's what we are going to paint today okay the far away uh, part far away scenery or the trees will be very light in color I'll try to share the screen. Let me see. Give me a minute. Okay, it's not going to work. Uh, we'll, we'll try. We'll paint it first and you'll come to know. Step by step, I'll teach you. Come along with me, okay? So, we'll start the, with the background first. It's all about mixing of colors. So, get your palette and all the colors, acrylic colors. So, we are going to start with blue, white and black color. To get that foggy effect. If you have any doubts regarding the misty forest, just Google it. Misty forest, how it looks like. You'll get a picture of what we are doing now. Okay. Take Prussian blue. and white color, titanium white color, and also black. Yes, we are using acrylic colors. So these are the three colors that I'm using now. Now you have your white. So I will place my white color on my palette. So I have white. white and then blue blue color
white color blue color and very little black color so for the black color you take your uh, pointed brush and get a few drops not few just a one drop of paint of black color and place it on the corner of your palette so you only have to get a very thin black color for your mixing of blue and white color so look at the screen here i have white everybody look at the screen here i have white i have added blue and also black to it and the color mixing has to be very light that means white color has to be in more proportion than blue and black it is like a ash color are you able to see ash color black blue and white now what you do is let us start from the corner i'll zoom out and now i'll start from this corner with a very dark tone this is the color that you need to get by mixing blue white and black okay ash color it is and it is not too dark and not too light start with the corner and then extend all these colors towards middle and while coming towards the middle while taking all the colors towards middle and when it comes to the middle the color will become lighter and lighter so you have one dark tone at the edges only at the edges you have a dark tone and go in a horizontal way instead of going in a vertical direction moving your brush in a vertical direction go in a horizontal direction Okay, this is how you are supposed to move the brush. And when getting to the middle of the sheet, use more white color to make it very light. Only the corners has to be dark, and it has to merge one another. I have used blue, black, and white for mixing. and you can divide the sheet like into two parts one for the land this below this line will be the land and above will be the sky not sky a mist misty covered forest and again from the right hand side you start dark color and which comes to the middle as a light color darkest to the lightest mixing blue black and gray
from the darkest tone towards the light. And make sure you merge all these colors neatly. And the patches should not be visible. It should merge properly. When it comes to the middle, all the colors has to be white. So middle portion is the lightest portion of all. Pure white, you can make it in the middle. And rest all the edges are dark. As you move towards the center, make it light. Any doubts? That's all. From the darkest to the lightest tone. Just that mixing has to be very clear for you all to paint this. Hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, ask me. And now coming to the ground, use sap green if you have. If you don't have sap green, mix dark green and yellow and make it light. And this will come more clear if you're using canvas board or if you're using oil colors, oil paints, not oil pastels, oil paints. Now you can use sap green. If you don't have sap green, mix dark green and yellow. Make sure you merge the colors. There shouldn't be a color difference. Edges, I mean, the dark edge and the light edge. No, it has to mix properly. Now I'm using this sap green. Also adding some white. And again, if you're using sap green, you can still add yellow.
and this this level is the ground level Okay, and here I have used sap green, white, and bit of yellow here and there. So to add depth to this land, what I'm going to do is take other size brush, which is smaller than what I was using. You can take six round brush, six or five. Here you take black. You are just using some five colors here. Black, white, blue, green. Now take black. Here I have taken black color. And then sap green. And you can now make few patches of colors, dark colors. And spread the colors. You can also use white, yellow, and merge the colors. You can also make like some texture glasses, okay? Grasses, sorry. So you're using sap green. You can dab your brush, dry brush on the sheet of pay of your sheet and you will get that grassy effect. Okay. These are the patchy works which you will find on the grass. You are not able, you sorry. Yeah, well, this grasses, you can try the slender thin grasses. Instead of that, you can make a small grasses creating the texture by dabbing the brush. Now let's move on to the trees. How to draw trees? You all know how to draw trees, right? So in the same way, but using different colors. It's actually a same color, but the gradients will be the will uh, have a difference. So few trees will be light, and few trees will be the darkest of all. And few will be the medium, light, or dark trees. Let's try. First of all, to paint trees, 
use your point brushes either one or two or three below three point brushes and we'll start with the lightest tree all you need to have is white and black for painting trees okay i'll give you 2 minutes finish it first I'll keep working on the land. You can complete rest of the parts. You can make a different shades of green here. on the land mixture of yellow mixture of black go with yellow and sap green and sometimes you can use black and few parts i also add white as i have told i'll add white in few parts
Now we'll start with the tree. So I'll take this point brush. Okay. This thin tip pointed brush and start drawing few lines. That's all you need to do. Just a lines. Lighter lines, darker lines, medium light lines. Okay. All those lines. So I'll start with the black and white, which is very light in color. Basically a gray color, light gray color, not a dark gray, a light gray, very light shade of gray. So I have white and I have black. So I'll take more of white color. And play. white is important for all the trees. So I'll place some more, more white color on my palette. Now, black. First, I'll start with a drop of black. Just a point of black color. And now mix it until it becomes very light. Listen carefully. The first tree that we are drawing has to be very, very light. It, it is a white, but a bit of different shade. That's all. And it has to be very light. And I'm going to start that tree from the center. Everybody look at the screen from the center. I'll draw the lightest tree. I have mixed black and white. And then start drawing tree. If you feel it's a bit dark, you use more of white color. Mix it and then start again. I still feel it's a little dark. I'm going to mix it again with white. Light again. I think this is enough for me. Yeah. So this is the lightest tree of all. And the one more tree, I'll draw it on the right hand side. You can still use zero point brushes for the Detailing of branches. This are uh, for branches. Where you can show very thin branches. So I have done one tree 
and you can draw one more tree very next to it which is of same shade we'll have to change the shade but here first we will start with the very light shade One more tree I'll draw on the right hand side. Now your work is to just keep adding trees and trees one after the other. These are the lighter shaded trees. Now jumping into the next shade. So before doing that, you can still draw one more line of the same shade. Okay, that's all. And next shade, next shade will be a bit darker than the first one. So this is the lightest of all. Now you add a little more black to it to make it dark. This is the darker tone of gray color. And I'll start with the next tree, which is beside uh, the lighter shaded trees. I'll make this bark a little bit more thicker. Now I add in branches. Now this tree is lighter than the other, darker than the other tree which we have done before. Next, again, I'll add one more tree, which is of same shade next to the right hand tree.
once you draw the line add branches and make sure all the trees are very thin please use point brush to get a thinner stroke next again i'll add one more tree keep adding the trees one more next a little bit more darker than this again next tone just keep adding darkness to the shade use pointed brush if and only if you will use pointed brush and make very thin lines it will look very beautiful and always make sure the upper part of the tree will be thin and the bottom part will be thick okay have you all understood the upper part of the tree will be thin and as it comes to the lower part of the bark it will be bigger in size okay thicker in size as it approaches the root
and now you can start making grasses which is not too dark not too light mixture of white and black color start from the land You can make pointy grasses. Just keep drawing small, small lines for the grass so that it will hide the roots of a tree. You still have so many trees to complete. These are all in the background. Main tree that you need to be highlighting is yet to come. And now, still, you need to add some more trees. Keep adding those. One on the right and the left. Fill it both the sides. The main trees, it will be solid black color. You don't have to mix it with a white color. So these are all the trees which you see in the background. Okay. Now coming to the trees which you can see in the 
front. How to draw those trees? So adding solid black lines. You'll have trees which are very close to your eyes. Now I'll start with the actual trees, which is very dark. So I'm using black color now, just a black color, not a mixture of white color, only the black. So I have taken black and side. No, this is left side. and mark for the tree. So this is first darkest tree and always remember the root has to be thicker. Next darkest tree. So I'm going to make one more darkest tree here. Mark it first. Then fill it with the completely black color. And one more tree you can add. One more I'll add.
and now tree is on the other side. One first tree on the right hand side. Sure, wish you can make it thinner, you can make it thicker, but always the bottom part has to be thick than the upper part. Now again, you can keep adding branches. So before that, you need to show the reflection for all these trees. Imagine there is a sunlight coming from here, from inside the forest, which is on the opposite side where you're standing. So the reflection will to fall towards the opposite of the sun. Okay, so sun will be here and the shadow will cast on the land which is opposite to the sun. So that's why I'll make reflections with black lines again. So these are the reflection only for the dark trees. Show reflections only for the dark trees. Okay, that's all and you can make it thicker all these shadows has to be thick and one more important thing to recognize it is as a shadow there should be some difference between this bark and the shadow yes so for that you should add white colors to the borders of these shadows. I'll show you how. So now you take white, little bit of white and add, lay, add little white towards the edges of this shadow. Again, I'm going to add white color to the edges. Only to the edges of the shadows, add white with black. Not only white, along with the black color, you can add. Now, does it look like a realistic? You still have to add branches.
Now adding branches for the same tree. These are all the shadows. Shadows can be thick. It can have two lines because you can show branches as a shadow. Now continue with the branches. Again for the branches, please use the thin brush and start drawing thin branches. So I'll start with the leftmost tree where I'll start with the branch.
very thin branches. I told you whenever you get a free time, practice these branches, thin lines, so that it will be easy for you to draw any kind of trees even. For that, you need to have point brush.
think we can stop it here. If you wish to add more branches or add anything more, go ahead. You can add whatever you want. Uh, not whatever, but branches, whatever the shape you want the branches to be. And add that. If you're working, please take a picture and then continue working on it. I'll not check any one of your work in particular. I'll just see as a whole how you all have done. Sadika, very nice branches. Very good, Sadika. Keep working. Anybody wants to show their work? Shall I end the meeting? Is that a bird, Sadika? What you're drawing? Is that a bird? Very nice, Jaita Chakrabarti. Very nice work. I really like the uh, trees that you have done. Very thin branches and nice, nice. And you can still improve on the ground. Okay. The, you can mix white. Instead of leaving that patches of dark green color, you can merge it with the background green color. Dark green and light green. Uh, you can add a shade of not too dark green, not too light green. And then you can merge it with the land. Nice work. Very good. Okay, I'll end the meeting. See you all in the next class. Okay, thank you for joining.